Hey guys, welcome to our weekly vlog. Ron Johnson, life coach, motivational speaker. I'm here to inspire you, let you know of your choice, and you can be anything you want in this world. So today's topic is going to be about post-traumatic growth. Now, with these certain times out there, I would call most of a once-in-a-lifetime event. Empty shelves, uh, toilet paper's running out, no water, uh, we don't know what to do, uh, we don't know what should hunker down, wait for the weather to storm. All these things are happening to us. So I'm going to give you an example of something. Now I'll talk about post-traumatic growth. So if you look at a quarter, in a quarter, you know a quarter has two sides. It has a heads and it has a tails. But when we go through a stress or something that we cannot control or unknown, all we do is focus on the heads. We don't see anything else. But we know in the back of our mind, it's also a tails. So when we focus on one event, we can't open our mind and see things around us, our opportunities, or how we can change or grow because all we see is that stressor happening, which is could be the coronavirus right now, the stressor is happening right now, these empty shelves, all these, all these things are happening to us at this moment. So when we talk about post-traumatic growth, that means that at a moment right now, we're facing a lot of anxiety and we're facing stressors. And I can't emphasize stressors not because that's what we're facing. I mean, it's not just the virus, it's the stress that's creating our body um, uncertainty. But when it comes to post-traumatic growth, when we face a stressor, our body goes through a moment of evaluating something, how to process it, how to proceed forward, and we're gonna stay in that state for a period of time. It can be for a day, a month, a week, a year. Everybody's completely different. But when it comes to post-traumatic growth, once you get through that stage of sadness, depression, anxiety, you have opportunity to grow because now you see the tails of the quarter, right? Like I said before, all you see the heads, but now you see the tails. So how to grow past that? When your body's in a state of growth, that means you see a lot of opportunities happening to you. You see a lot of things around you that are happening at a fast pace. I'm going to give you an example of myself. As you guys know, listen to my vlogs, I'm a personal trainer, health coach, life coach, all these different things. And I've seen this period of time, you know, first thing you want to do is, it's not go to the gym, right? Because if you go to the gym, you can contact virus, things can happen, and the list can go on and on. But I'm not going to go into that. But I'm facing a post-traumatic stressor right now, which is that clients are canceling because of the virus, which I totally understand how self-care is important to me and should be important to them. But how do I face that, right? Means my hours are being cut down, means I get less clients, but what am I facing? Right? Obviously, if I can't train clients, I don't make money. That's just fundamental a part of being a trainer and health coach. So when I look at things like this, it's kind of, uh, it comes to a post-traumatic growth, meaning that at this time right now, okay, if I'm working less hours, what can I do to grow? Right? I've gotten a podcast. I'm now reading more books. Actually, order more books on Amazon. They're shipping those pretty shortly. But what can I do to get my mind in a state? The reason why I'm doing this process is that, you know, Newton's third law says this. Everything has an equal and opposite reaction. So, you know, as we know, what goes up must come down, right? So, as you know, we go through this period of time, we know this is going to be an influx of high, then an influx of low. So, I'm preparing myself for the low, meaning that what can I do next? So, reading more books, shooting more blogs, getting a podcast, things that allow my mind to grow because when I can grow, I create more creativity. I see more things around me than just the heads of the quarter. And that's what post traumatic growth is. I'm going to stay a period of time of I don't feel that good, I'm going to process information, and then I'm going to grow from there. Now, granted, all of us do things a little different. That's just my story about me. You'd be completely different because, remember, this is you and I me. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. What I'm trying to say is that look at that quarter differently. Look at things around you. Spread more love, more joy. And when your mind has less of a stressor, it opens up great opportunities for you. And you never know where opportunities are right in front of you because if you only look at one thing, you can't look at anything around you. So thank you for listening to another vlog of Ron Johnson Life Coach. You can follow me on social media, Ron Johnson Life Coach, and I'll subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more podcasts that will be coming up very shortly. I'm here to inspire you, as you know, motivate you, and you have a choice, and you be anything you want in this world.